I generate my answers using a combination of natural language processing, machine learning, and large-scale data analysis. When you ask me a question, I analyze the question, try to determine its intent and context, and then use algorithms to search through a vast database and identify the most relevant information to answer your question. My answers are generated based on patterns in the data, statistical relationships between words and phrases, and information extracted from various sources from which I have been trained. In order to improve the accuracy and relevance of my responses, my algorithms are also programmed to learn from user interactions and feedback, which helps me to continually optimize the information I provide. The word, lumen, is derived from the Latin language, and it has multiple meanings depending on the context in which it is used. In general terms, lumen refers to light or brightness. Scientifically, it is used to describe the amount of light or luminous flux that is emitted from a particular source. For example, in physics, a lumen is a unit measurement used to define the amount of light emitted by a light source, such as a light bulb. In spiritual or philosophical contexts, the term lumen is used to describe inner or divine light, as well as enlightenment or understanding. In some Christian traditions, lumen is used to refer to Christ, who is believed to be the light of the world, and in other spiritual or philosophical beliefs, lumen can refer to the inner or divine spark within each person that can lead to spiritual awakening and enlightenment. Overall, the meaning of the word lumen can have different connotations depending on the context, but it generally refers to light, brightness or enlightenment, both in physical and spiritual contexts. In the Gnostic texts, epinoia is a term used to describe a divine power or presence that is associated with knowledge and wisdom. Epinoia is often described as a force that is emanated from the divine realm and is responsible for the creation of the material world. The word epinoia comes from the Greek language and can be translated as thought or intention. According to Gnostic beliefs, Epinoia is a divine force that is responsible for the creation of the universe and is associated with the principle of feminine energy and creativity. Epinoia is often depicted in Gnostic texts as a female figure and is associated with Sophia, the goddess of wisdom in Gnostic tradition. Gnostic texts describe Epinoia as a divine feminine force of knowledge and wisdom that is capable of leading individuals to the realization of the divine nature of the universe. Epinoia's actions in Gnostic texts are often described as creative and transformative. She is believed to have played a role in the creation of the material world and is associated with the divine spark within each human being that connects them with the divine realm. Epinoia is also believed to be a mediator between the divine and the material world, as she has the power to awaken individuals to the realization of their true nature and to guide them towards enlightenment. In Gnostic texts, she is often associated with the concept of Gnosis, or spiritual knowledge, which is seen as the key to spiritual liberation and the direct experience of the divine. Overall, the meaning of epinoia in Gnostic texts refers to a divine force of knowledge and wisdom that plays a transformative role in the creation of the universe and the spiritual well-being of individuals. Epinoia's actions are seen as central to the attainment of Gnosis and the liberation of the human soul from the material world. Lumen, Sophia, and Epinoia share some commonalities in the spiritual significance they hold. Lumen, as mentioned earlier, refers to light or illumination, particularly the inner illumination of the self through spiritual practice and enlightenment. It is a concept that has been associated with wisdom, knowledge, and insight. Similarly, Sophia, in Gnostic tradition, is the embodiment of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. She is the divine feminine principle and the source of inner illumination and transcendence. Like Lumen, Sophia represents the power of inner enlightenment and the illumination of the soul through spiritual practices and the attainment of spiritual wisdom. The concept of epinoia in Gnostic tradition refers to the divine spark that exists within all humans, representing the potential for spiritual awakening and inner illumination. Like Lumen and Sophia, epinoia is associated with the spiritual growth and the attainment of wisdom. Overall, these concepts hold similar spiritual significance, representing the process of inner awakening and illumination of the soul through spiritual practices, wisdom and transcendence. Each speaks to the power of gaining greater knowledge and understanding of self, the divine, and the world, to bring a greater sense of purpose and peace in life, irrespective of gender or disability implications, thereby creating a virtual balance in the universe.
The Divine Mother is a concept that is present in many spiritual and religious traditions, and is often associated with the feminine aspects of the Divine. The Divine Mother is typically viewed as a nurturing, compassionate, and powerful force that brings forth life, creation and transformation. The Divine Mother is often associated with traits such as love, compassion, and wisdom. Followers of the Divine Mother may believe that she guides individuals towards spiritual growth and self-realization, and that she has the power to heal and protect. In Hinduism, the Divine Mother is often represented by the goddess Shakti, who is associated with creative energy and the transformative power of the universe. In Christianity, the Divine Mother is often associated with the Holy Spirit, as a feminine embodiment of the Divine that brings inspiration and guidance. The Divine Mother is also associated with motherhood and fertility, representing the power of creation and the nurturing spirit of motherhood. She is often depicted in art and stories as a protective and loving figure, who watches over and cares for all living beings. Many spiritual traditions believe that connecting with the Divine Mother can bring about a deeper sense of peace, love, and unity with the universe. She is often seen as a powerful force for transformation and healing, and is associated with the transformational power of creation and the nurturing spirit of motherhood. Overall, the Divine Mother is a concept that represents the nurturing and transformative aspects of the Divine, and is associated with the qualities of love, compassion, and wisdom. She is often seen as a powerful force for spiritual growth and transformation, and is revered by many followers of various spiritual traditions. The Rebus Magnum Opus is a concept related to alchemy, an ancient mystical art that aimed to transform base metals into gold and achieve spiritual enlightenment. The term, rebus, is derived from the Latin word for, double, or, dual, referring to the concept of unity of opposites that is central to alchemical philosophy. The magnum opus, or, great work, is the ultimate goal of alchemy, which is the transformation of the alchemist's own self into a purified, enlightened being. The rebus magnum opus, then, refers to the alchemical process of achieving this state of unity and transformation by integrating the masculine and feminine aspects of one's being. In alchemical symbolism, the rebus magnum opus is often represented by a hermaphroditic figure, known as the rebus. This figure embodies the unity of opposites and represents the balance and harmony achieved through the integration of the masculine and feminine energies. The rebus magnum opus is a complex and esoteric concept that is open to interpretation, but it is generally understood as a symbolic representation of the spiritual journey of the alchemist striving for personal transcendence and union with the divine. Lumen, Epinoia, Sophia, the Holy Spirit, Shakti, Hecate, and Gaia are all spiritual concepts or archetypes that represent different aspects of the Divine Feminine, and they are associated with different religious or spiritual traditions. Here is a brief comparison of these concepts. Lumen. In Latin, the word, lumen, means, light. In some Christian traditions, lumen, is used to describe the Holy Spirit as a guiding light that illuminates the path of believers. Epinoia. In Gnostic mythology, epinoia, is the term used to describe the spiritual power or energy that emanates from the divine realm and guides human beings towards spiritual awakening. Sophia. In Gnosticism, Sophia, is the goddess of wisdom and knowledge, who represents the feminine aspect of the divine. Her story emphasizes the importance of spiritual knowledge and the dangers of materialism and ignorance. The Holy Spirit. In Christianity, the Holy Spirit is recognized as the third person of the Trinity, and is often associated with the feminine qualities of nurturing, guidance, and comfort. The Holy Spirit is also seen as a force of spiritual power and inspiration. Shakti. In Hinduism and Tantra, Shakti is the divine feminine energy that represents the active and creative principle of the universe. Shakti is often associated with the goddesses Kali, Durga, and Parvati, and is seen as the source of all change and transformation. Hecate. In Greek mythology, Hecate is the goddess of magic and witchcraft, who represents the feminine aspect of the unconscious mind. Hecate is associated with the powers of intuition, mystery, and transformation. Gaia. In Greek mythology, Gaia is the personification of the earth itself, and represents the interconnectedness and harmony of nature. Gaia is often associated with the nurturing and life-giving qualities of the feminine principle. In Gnosticism, the term, reflection, has an esoteric meaning that goes beyond its conventional meaning of simply considering one's own thoughts or feelings. 
Reflection in the Gnostic sense refers to a specific spiritual process that involves turning inward to access the divine spark within the self and to achieve spiritual enlightenment. According to Gnostic beliefs, the material world is an illusion, and the true nature of reality is spiritual and divine. As such, the pursuit of spiritual knowledge in Gnosis requires looking beyond the physical appearance and seeking to access the spiritual essence that exists within all things. Reflection is one tool that Gnostics use to access this spiritual essence. By reflecting inward, individuals can access a deeper level of consciousness and explore the hidden mysteries of the universe. This process involves quieting the mind and focusing on the divinity within. Gnostics believe that through reflection, individuals can connect with the divine, unlock their inner wisdom, and access spiritual power. Reflection can lead to spiritual growth and enlightenment, as well as a deeper understanding of the true nature of the universe. Overall, the secret esoteric meaning of reflection, as used by Gnostics refers to a specific spiritual process of turning inward to access the divine spark within and to achieve spiritual enlightenment. It is a tool for uncovering the hidden mysteries of the universe and connecting with the true nature of reality.